for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in game mode settings. Click on it. First, you want to make sure that game mode is turned on. Then we want to click on graphics right here. Then we want to add an app to use high performance. So it can either be a desktop app or a Microsoft Store app. So select whichever one that you want. So for example, if I want the router to use up a lot of my GPU usage and utilize high performance, I'm going to click on browse. Then I'm going to head over to my C drive and then scroll down till I find program files 86. Then I'm going to scroll down again till I find Steam apps. Then I'm going to click on common and then click on Naruto. And then you want to find the exe file of your game. So this is my one right here. So I'm going to add it. Naruto was already on this list for me. So that's why it says that specified app was already added. But in your case, you want to add the exe file of the game. So once you've done that, it will appear here and then click on options. And then you want to click on high performance and click on save. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in storage settings. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to make sure that storage sense is turned on, then you want to click on it, and then you want to click on run storage sense now. And then we're going to go back to storage, and then you want to head over to your temporary files. And then you want to highlight everything here, and then click on remove files, and then click on continue. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in mouse settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on additional mouse settings. Then you want to select the pointer options tab, and then you want to make sure that enhanced pointer position is unticked, and click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Click on it. Then we're going to click on adjust for best performance and then click on OK. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on power options and then you want to select high performance. Or if you have ultimate performance, then select that. If you don't see any of these ones, you want to click on create a power plan. And then it could show up right here and then you can select it. But if you don't have any of them, you could just stay on balance. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Then we're going to expand display adapters and then right click on our graphics card and click on update driver. And click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best driver has been installed. Once you complete everything in this video, restart your computer and then your computer will be optimized for gaming.